Y'all gonna do better than that? I just ate buffet. How the hell are you? You don't know that? That's good. Good to hear, I'll man. Tell you, I'm doing great, man. Y'all, I had a good day at work today. My, y'all may know me. I'm the guy on the overpass with the cardboard sign that says we'll work for food. <laughs> I'm working son of a bitch out of folks. <laughs> Hell yeah, I think next week I'll go on club ready. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. I tell you, that's not my real job. You used to be a male exotic dancer. <laughs> Stay in your seats, ma'am, okay? Put them dollar bells away, little missy. All right. Later. Yeah, I'll give you a little treat. Here you go. I know it's going to be hard to stay in your seat after seeing that, baby. <laughs> no, man, I used to make real good money at that, man. Women to come up to me. <laughs> Here's $20. Just get the hell off the damn stage. <laughs> yeah, I was a chocolate Chippendale, and uh, I did reinforced table dances. It's good to be here. Good to have you. My name is Ralph, and I, uh, I live by one theory. My theory is that you can say anything to anybody at any time as long as you're covered up with love you. <laughs> it's great. Like, look at this guy right here, Mr. Peckerwood right here. Hey, hey, dude, with that haircut, the 70s are over, man. They are over. It sucks, man. Love you. <laughs> Isn't that great, man? You can say anything to anybody, man. <laughs> man, Arr, like that chest, ma'am. Arr. I thought I had a good chest. Mmm, that's a good one. Love you. <laughs> Ain't that great, man? Man, I thought I was making fun of him in the 70s. Dude, dude, dude. I bet in your closet there's a jumpsuit right there. Big old thing of chains. Love you. There you go, man, see? He was thinking, Ralph, you suck. Get the hell away from me, you son of a bitch. Love you. <laughs> Man, that's great, man. I tell you, though, man, I like it, man. I'm from Arkansas. Don't mean to, I'll be taking a donation later, sorry. <laughs> Being from Arkansas, of course you know how to vote for in the last election, right? Yeah, Bill Clinton. <laughs> Just the fact I wanted him out of our state. <laughs> it's like, see you later, Bill. <laughs> Take that bitch Hillary with you, too, okay? <laughs> Y'all don't forget that ugly ass kid y'all made neither, all right? Yeah, there's your stupid ass cat too, all right? Piece of shit, real president, have a dog, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> hey, Texans, we got rid of our governor. <laughs> y'all gotta do something about Ann Richards, man. Does she know what the hell is underneath her chin? I mean, has she ever heard the word facelift? I mean, damn. You don't want to be mean, but every time you look at her, you just got to go. <laughs> you think she'd get some duct tape and flap them jails around or something? <laughs> tape them down, you know? Yeah. Put a restraint on them son of a bitches. <laughs> but old Bill Clinton, man, he wants to allow gays in the military. I think that's a good idea, guys. Gays in the military. No, no. Uh, now, see, a lot of people don't like that because they don't think the gays are tough enough. See, I totally disagree, folks. I think you've got to be one tough son of a bitch to take a dick up the ass. (laughs) 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 And I cry when I get constipated. Damn! I tell you what, though, it'd give a holy meaning to the word drill instructor, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> it's like, I ain't going to that fuck so with you, buddy. I don't think so, Bruce. Mm-mm. <laughs> and by the way, if I offended any gay people in here, love you. <laughs> That's a figure of speech, by the way. <laughs> love you. Oh, man, I tell you, folks. Man, there are things are getting out of hand in the media. That shit's getting out of hand, man. Last week on Geraldo, they had neo-Nazi lesbians for the metric system. Next on Geraldo. What? Man, the show on us, people want to kill Geraldo. Next on Donahue. Sign me up. That's the show I want to see, buddy. Man, and this other show, Sally Jesse Raphael, folks. You seen that show? 
If you haven't seen, they had an 86-year-old stripper on that show, folks. 86 years old. God damn. <laughs> hey, you thought I looked bad naked. Woo! Man, they showed portions of her act. It was like... <laughs> And she died halfway through the rack, right? <laughs> they brought the paramedics out. Clear! <laughs> now I know what you're wondering, buddy. Hey, Ralph, was she wearing a G-string? <laughs> I don't know. Depends. <laughs> hey, screw you people. I love that joke, man. Oh, man. Being a comic, man, we tend to travel a lot, man. I was on Southwest Airlines, piece of shit airline, and... Uh, if I offend anybody, love you. All right, fuck you. <laughs> love you. Man, and I was going to, uh, where am I going to, man? Uh, going to L.A., okay, Louisiana. Going all the way to Louisiana, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Louisiana, okay? And the best place to sit on the airplane is the exit aisle seat, right? Because you've got the most leg room right there. Coolness, right? Boom, that's the best place. Well, there I am sitting there, and the stewardess comes up to me. She goes, Excuse me, sir. I said, yes, ma'am. You're going to have to move. What? No damn way I'm moving. She goes, yes, you're going to have to move, sir, because in the event of a crash, you may block the exit. <laughs> Excuse me. You're telling me that this plane crashes and this whole thing's going to burn it up. I can't get out. She goes, yes. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what you do, bitch. Uh, I want you to go take a hot dog to everybody because guess what? They staying around for the damn barbecue, okay? We're going to make that little thing in Waco look like nothing because if I can't get out of the damn plane, ain't nobody getting out of the damn plane! <laughs> and bring me some peanuts, bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she said, well, I'm going to have to call security. Well, why don't you just call damn security, all right? Unless they can get a tow truck on this son of a bitch, I think I'm okay. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> man, I tell you, man. And then I went to Louisiana by, <laughs> man, driving there. Whew. It's a scary place, man. I think the best thing to come out of Louisiana is I-10. <laughs> I mean, how do you compliment a worm from Louisiana? Uh, nice tooth. <laughs> I really do like the way you weaved your pit hairs. Mm, I like that. But when I was in Louisiana, I got to think of something you never hear of when you're in Louisiana. A Cajun homosexual? You never hear about that, do you, folks? What would that conversation be like? Hey, Boudreaux. You know, daughter, dad, when I was screwing you up the butt, I was going, whoo, hey, wouldn't it be nice with some blue crabs? I ain't Put the mask on that boudin. Get it, boy. Get it, get it, get it. Hey! Ah, it's good for this can I got on thee. <laughs> I just had a vision. <laughs> but man, back here in Texas, man, you guys love your rodeo, don't you? You love your rodeo, don't you? Oh, we got a cowboy here. I'll talk slower. Hey, you liked your rodeo, don't you? I go there in my truck. But I tell you, rodeos, you don't see a whole lot of fat guys, do you? Hell, that's just starting to piss me off a little bit, man. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to make my own fat guy rodeo. I tell you what, that barbecue would be a hell of a lot better, yeah, buddy? <laughs> Wouldn't be nothing in front, just me in the back going, whip, sorry. <laughs> Y'all should have gotten here a little sooner. Mm. <laughs> man, so I'm going to have to join the regular guy rodeo. Okay, cool. Now riding Satan's breath, the most dangerous bull on the circuit. He's killed three riders alone this year, Mr. Ralph May. Hand the right of the shoot. <laughs> come on, man, come on. Time, another perfect score for Ralph May. <laughs> you know that bull will be walking away going, that son of a bitch broke my back. <sighs> oh, man. But I tell you, I was in Oklahoma. I don't mean to brag. 
And uh, when I was in Oklahoma, I was watching TV because you know I don't do a whole lot of jogging. And I'm, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and when I was there, man, I found that they have Indian television stations. Do you know that, folks? Indian TV stations. You know that? And commercials that are geared for Indians. I swear, man, I saw a commercial for Preparation H. It was like, I have hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids that won't go away. I have hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids that burn and itch all day. Let's give it a wonderful crowd. That's my part of the show for tonight. Thank you. Y'all gonna be a fun bus tonight, man. But we have an excellent show, a two headliner show that very rarely happens here in stand-up comedy. But before we get started with the rest of the show, uh, acting as your MC and host for tonight, I have uh, a couple announcements. One, fire exits right there, okay, in case you wish to catch on fire again. Go ahead and use those. <laughs> 